N95 masks have gotten a lot of attention this year. And for many of you out there, you may be wondering, what is an N95 and what is it supposed to do? I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the N95 mask and what its purpose is. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is an N95 mask. You'll probably notice it looks a lot different than a surgical mask. And the reason they look a lot different is because they are a lot different. For starters, the surgical mask is built to be a barrier that prevents large droplets from exiting your mouth and also from entering the mouth and nose from somebody else's mouth or nose. It's a barrier. It doesn't provide a tight fit. But the N95 does. The N95 is actually a filtering respirator. So yeah, there's a big difference between these two. N95s work by filtering particulate through the tiny pores in the fabric. The 95 that's used in the term N95 means that it filters out 95% of particles. Now notice I keep using words like particulate and particles. That's intentional. The reason is an N95 doesn't provide protection against gases or vapors but it does against dust, fumes, mist, smoke, and aerosols. It's important to talk about what the intended use of an N95 is, because although N95s have been widely publicized this year for their use in medical environments, they were actually originally designed for industrial and construction environments to protect workers from airborne hazards. The first N95s were produced in the 1970s when the Bureau of Mines and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH, developed standards for single-use respirators. Two years later, 3M was the first one to have a model approved in 1972. In 1995, N95s became a healthcare standard when virus blocking technology was introduced. When N95s are used in a healthcare setting, they're usually a variant called a surgical respirator, which is approved by NIOSH as a respirator and must also be cleared by the Food and Drug Administration for use as a medical device. The biggest difference between the two types of N95s is that the healthcare version has to be certified to be substantially resistant to fluids, which mimic blood and other bodily fluids in testing. Industrial versions don't need to undergo these types of tests. Now you may be wondering, if only some N95s are certified to be used in medical environments, then there must be enough left over for the other industries out there. And the answer to that is, as part of the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, changes were made to liability and certification laws to allow industrial respirators to be used in healthcare settings due to the crisis level shortages of respirators during the COVID-19 pandemic. So now we know. N95s were originally intended to be used in industrial and construction environments, but in the 90s, new technology adapted them to also be a good fit for medical environments as well. Now, the big deal about N95s this year is that there was a limited supply of them, and even the industrial types were all going to healthcare workers. Now that we're seeing some of those supplies be replenished, it's possible to get an N95 for different types of workplaces and not only healthcare settings. So now you know what an N95 is used for. I hope this information was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.